So welcome everyone. Today, uh, this is Priyanka Sharma and I am celebrating Orange City Literature Fest under which I am going to meet a lot of influencers. And today is one crazy interesting conversation you are in for. Let me tell you how this happened and why uh, I am super excited for today. So when we were searching and sourcing for influencers different uh, from different different niches, there was one particular which was the first in our list. That was by the name Kitabi Kida. So when we called everybody to call, uh, you know, come for the influencer meet, a person showed exactly five minutes before time and uh, I did not know the face. So I was like, okay, uh, he introduced himself very nicely that I am Harsh Agrawal and I did not know that this is the face behind the most coveted work in the book review segment that goes by the name Kitabi Kida. I'm more than happy to welcome you today, Harsh. Uh, thank you. Like, it's a little bit No. <laughs> You deserve it. I mean, uh, for those who don't know, which I'm sure doesn't, is, is not the case at all. Kitabi Kida is actually a community which has purely its roots into honest book reviews, where you, uh, you know, connect with people who are into books, want to discuss right. about them, and you share a bond with them over right. this. Yeah. So, how does it feel to run this page? Like, absolutely amazing. Uh -huh. Like, uh, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm like I feel honored like to have uh, discussions and with so many amazing people, mm -hmm. authors, readers, everyone. Mm -hmm. Like I feel blessed, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I had few questions in my mind, which yeah. has been sourced from the people who wanted to ask you this question. These are the most common questions I got for Harsh. So let's just start with them. Yeah, sure. Okay, so being a book critic or uh, you know content critic, if I can say, because yeah. your review are ranging from all yes, sources. So, yes. सबसे पहला question था कि इतनी free books कहाँ से मिलती हैं? I get a lot of these in the DMs. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like you have to build connections, mm -hmm. like with the publishers. Like you have to build connections first of all with the uh, with the PR people who handle the stuff in the uh, with in the publications, like. It's a whole corporate structure over there also. Okay. Yeah. So you have to like, uh, like, I will be like brutally honest, like mm -hmm. literally, like, uh, no, like, you have to like keep cold emailing them and all. Right. Like, if they like your work and like, uh, then they they may select you. Okay. And if they won't, they they will like they won't even answer, like they won't even respond to your email. Oh. Yeah. So it's not like free books. It's rather no. it comes at the cost of consistent effort, uh, yes, which goes yes, behind. Yes, yes, yes. Like, but like you have to do work for like n just cold emailing also won't work. You yeah. will have to be like actually be good at your job. Job yeah. connect with them. And connect with the like yeah. Wow. Like, be, you have to be a good like a good book reviewer or, bo or a book critic or whatever you. Right. Do. So yeah. it doesn't come free. It comes it with work and connection. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it does. Yeah. it does. Second, how do you read these many books? Like, yes, that's my question too. <laughs> like, yeah, that is actually a myth. Mm -hmm. I would like to break. I don't actually read too many books. Mm -hmm. I read like about 60 books a year maximum. I I know people like they read like 300, 400 books. Uh -huh. Like, it, I I read nothing in front in comparative comparing to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, yeah, but how do I read that 60 books also? Like, I like generally read only books that I'm genuinely interested in okay yeah like like i do read stuff that i like for uh, promotional stuff also like that is my job that i have to do but that i like keep like one one book a month for that like yeah oh so you read more for your own for self, your own self yeah. and then there is a dedicated slot for the ones you want to yes. promote that's yes. a very nice strategy yeah. for being honest to your craft yeah like now i know why your reviews are so good like you don't Thank do it you. purely for work you no. make time for it yeah third question what kind of books do you read? I read like almost all sorts of books. I'm I'm going to say like all sorts of genres I try to read. Like I read first of all both fiction and non-fiction. Okay. And in non-fiction also like I, nowadays I'm reading more non-fiction. I'm reading more more historical books. More yes. like like more into like political science and all. I'm read I'm like more into that nowadays. Mm -hmm. And in fiction also like like. Thriller. I am a big sucker for thrillers. Okay. Like that, we had a conversation that day. I told you I read Da Vinci Code in four hours. Like, four hours, people. Four hours. <laughs> like I am a big sucker for books like that. Uh -huh. I can like go through that like this. 
Oh, yeah. so that come. I think that in that terms you're gifted, like very maybe. naturally. No, maybe, maybe. Or you just enjoy them. I so enjoy much. that so much, like yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I think enjoying should be the right word that, than yeah. being said. But yeah, you're yeah, gifted. Yeah, yeah. Da Vinci Code in four hours, like <laughs> gifted. <laughs> okay. Next question. What are your go-to recommendations, both in the category of fiction and non-fiction? Like, in the, like I can't like. Uh, for the life of me, like recommend like from, from all the books I have ever read. Hmm. But from my current reads, I can like recommend for fiction. Hmm. There is a book by a Swedish author, Frederick Backman. Hmm. Uh, it's called Anxious People. Oh, amazing book! Like everyone must read that book. Okay, it's not at all like people have a uh, assumption that it must be like very hard to read and all because it's a translated book and like hmm. it has won many prizes and all. But it is not at all like that. Okay. Even a layman can read it. Like. Very amazing book. Okay. Like noted. very wholesome and all. Oh. Yeah. Noted. Okay. And in non-fiction, like there's a book, uh, like uh, it's a political science book kind of. Hmm? India that is Bharat. Oh yeah. yes. Recently you reviewed it and yeah. crazy. Your like impressions people went are crazy. Uh, people went crazy about that book. Yeah. That's like that's it. That is one amazing book. It, like it talks about like uh, all the. Colonization, civilization, and coloniality. Mm -hmm. Like it's the first part, uh, first part of the trilogy that the author is going to publish. Okay. It just came out this Independence Day. The next part is going to come like in the next few, few, years. few years. And the book, like it went crazy. Like then uh, this uh, the books of the genre I have never seen numbers like these before. Yeah. So this is a path breaker to be yeah, very honest. Kind of. Like yes, amazing because I was watching. I keep on following her work very closely, and the impressions were insane. Like yes. anyways, Harsh and Joy is very committed audience. Like uh, people usually believe that on Instagram, uh, longer captions won't work. Yeah. You recently told us that it doesn't work that no, way. No, it does not. That's why. That's why I respect Harsh and his work and his community so much because you're literally defying all norms of content creation. Thank you. And you enjoy. That kind of committed like, audience to the thing. core. To the core. <laughs> Moving on, this is a question that, of course, was also my personal, uh, you know, interest to ask. What is your book review writing process? Like different sort of book demand, different sort of processes. Okay. Like uh, once I start reading, like I keep, I have a journal. Mm -hmm. I take, I uh, keep taking notes. Like. Mm -hmm. Achha, this could have been better. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. This this I will quote in real life also. Like oh. I I take that stuff all out. Then mm -hmm. I like uh, like I annotate that or I write that in the journal. Mm -hmm. And then I craft a review after like after I am done with the book. Mm -hmm. Some pro, some works like that. Like some books uh, some reviews work like that. Mm -hmm. And for some others like like uh, sometimes I am so engrossed in the book I don't have any time to annotate or. Oh. Uh, write in the journal. I just go through the book like this, and after I'm done, for the first three hours, uh -huh. I just lock the door and I craft the review. Oh, yeah, like different, all sorts of like these are the majorly two kinds of like processes yes. processes that I have yeah. for writing. Yeah. So one is little scattered, and when yeah. you go part by part, yeah. and the other is one through, and then it's a review review. Yeah. Like that is very interesting because I would love to like if someday this happens like I would sit with you and see how this works because there's nothing more beautiful. I mean I this is our third meeting right? Right. I have personally been talking to Harsh and every time he has something so interesting to offer that I've uh, apart from the fact that I'm so enjoying your content on Instagram you're an amazing person Harsh. Thank you. I have been having conversations and every time I feel like I should rekindle my love for books because. I personally feel that my interest never got uh, you know flourish in that flourishing stage but after speaking to you and going through the reviews I was like you know what let's just try so I started 48 laws of power nice. three four days back again which okay. I was never continuing like it was on hold for oh yeah right yeah yeah but then that's what I'm saying that's the energy you bring in because you know your craft when I'm saying that Orange City Literature Fest is celebrating influencers you mean people like Harsh who are not only spreading content left right and center but have a cause for it have right. a meaning for it and have a huge thought process behind it harsh it was pleasure talking to you is Same there here. anything you want to say to us or our team or our audience yeah like or like if you are from nagpur or by surrounding please visit orange city literature fest <laughs> like the authors that are going to speak are like amazing like from radha krishna pillai to devdar patnayak like you you will find one author of your taste at least 
that's what yes we are going to have it on 26th 27th and 28th of november and we would be happy to welcome you in the third edition of orange city literature fest thank you harsh for joining me it was pleasure speaking to you yeah <laughs> thank you mm -hmm.